All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify a Texit block uh, to accept a two-valve uh, intake or two-valve blower, as well as drill a hole for the cooling. To make it easier to grind the clearance for the rods, I'm going to go ahead and remove the crankshaft. Most of the time you can get these main caps by pulling up and wiggling at the same time. Uh, but if you have one that has a hard time, there's some gaps on the side. Not, not the machine surfaces, but there's a little air gap over here on the side. You can get a little screwdriver in there and just kind of work it up nice and gently. The middle ones you won't really be able to get to because uh, the angle of it. But if you need to, use a screwdriver. You might be able to get the back one or the next one if you get the back one. With your crankshaft out of here, you want to be careful not to nick your main studs. Any of the main bearings that didn't come out with the crankshaft, go ahead and remove those. Now we can see our markings, be able to get in there with a grinder. A lot easier and it's a good idea to keep everything organized on your workbench uh, got my main caps in order uh, the the crankshaft the main bearings all ready to go most of the aluminum blocks the texid block the watt block uh, the nemac block they all have these bungs in there uh, for knock sensors and if you're gonna run this on a two valve uh, you really ought to grind these things off of there I also grind this little pad right here down uh, just to give it as much much room in here as possible for the two valve intake and the two valve uh, superchargers so that they fit on here if you're going to be doing the grinding uh, at least cover up your stuff i'm going to take this outside uh, but it's still a good idea to treat your engine block and your internals uh, like an open wound so you want to keep this stuff covered as much as possible I'm also going to knock out the uh, the plugs for the oil gallery and uh, run a brush through there but just to alleviate anything getting down in there I'm going to clean this little uh, oil passage right here and, and put some tape over the top of it there's one here it's a smaller hole and there's one in the back over there I'm going to clean them both so that my tape will stick to it To cut these bungs down, I'm going to first come across here with uh, with this cutting wheel on both of them. Then I'm going to finish it off with an angle grinder with a metal grinding wheel on there. Just kind of smooth them both out and then take that nub off with this. And don't forget your eye pro. You might want to use ear pro as well. You see it took some off. Makes less work with for the grinder. Another thing I'm gonna do while I'm out here is I'm gonna drill the hole. There's a coolant passage, it usually goes here on the iron blocks and on the later aluminum blocks. There's a passage and the way you can find that is take a gasket and then just put a mark right here in the middle. And we're gonna drill a little hole right there. I'm gonna take a center punch, just punch where I put that mark. That's just to help keep the drill bit in one spot. Now I'm gonna slowly drill in. And while drilling, it's not a bad idea. Spray some PB Blaster on there. Some drilling lubrication. I'm gonna go incrementally higher until uh, 5 sixteenths. I'm gonna file these edges in there a little bit. Lastly, I'm going to hit it with this little countersink, give it a bevel, and blow it out real good. And now you can see how the block has been modified. These nubs are gone. 
And also got a hole drilled in here for the two valve heads and later four valve heads. <clears throat> One note on this is I've built these engines with two valve heads. Uh, I've done them with this hole and I've done them without this hole and I haven't had any issues with either of them. All right, after you've gotten done blowing it out really good, I mean really good, you wanna blow out every little crevice you can. Uh, I recommend getting some ATF and go ahead and wiping down these cylinders again.